What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Blockbox. I am Jervy, and I'm here with Isaac and Griffin, and we're playing Danganronpa once again. Isaac, hit it. What happened last time? All right, last time we started the fifth trial, and this entire time it's been basically a back and forth between us and Kyoko. Pretty much, well, us trying to clear ourselves, and Kyoko trying to blame us for the entire incident involving Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. I still Watch don't think. I still don't think the body's Mukuro's though. Mm, well. Whatever. Oh, oh Jeremy's I mean, not going to okay. test it this time. I see. <laughs> I, I, I think it's Mukuro's because it's kind of weird how um, it's like we. It, it just makes me kind of like feel sad. It's like they hype this character up, like, Mukuru Kusaba, and, like, now it's dead. Like, I do believe they do that. And, like, it, it, what kind of, like, makes me mad is that we don't even know how she looks like. Yeah. I mean... I suppose we might, we might never find out. Who knows? Anyways, let's just jump into it. This is enough talking. Um, do you yeah. want to read this? Uh, sure. Actually, to be precise, not quite. I used Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. What? Monokuma's secret tool? Kyoko oh yeah, we. Oh, room. we also we chose. Get into any room in <laughs> we chose not to trust Kyoko. <laughs> Which means. Yeah. Yeah, that's vital it information. It's been, it's, it's been a little bit since we last yeah. recorded this, so <laughs> I forgot Ooh. during the recap. Then I guess that's it. Oh. Oh. You're giving up just like that? You admit to killing? D did she? No. I'm simply recognizing that I lost. What, does that what are mean? you talking about? Like, like I said, this was a trap, oh. and I wasn't able to. Wait. So. Me vibing to this music. <laughs> literally, it's the best song in the song. This is literally like Kyoko's theme song in this game. So I lost. That's I mean, all this means. I mean, I do believe that like she kind of did it, but like also not. It's kind of weird. Yeah, because it could have been like the mastermind that just put it all together or whatever. I did say that this you case is a very different case, really which is why this trial is a lot shorter. I mean, you also said chapter six is a different case, so. Kyoko, well, yeah, but. You really aren't the killer. It's because this is a weird okay, case that chapter six is a weird up. case. <laughs> huh? I'm sorry to say, uh, but your time is up. Wait. All done. All what? Finished. The class trial is all. D what? D but that's ridiculous. Sure. Since when is there any? It's because you were late, so the trial started late and time ran out. So then, I'm yeah, not bringing cool. things at all. Okay, <laughs> everyone, please hey, stop using the lever in front of you. But I guess we already know who the blackened is, don't we? Uh, <laughs> we don't exactly. <laughs> It's just such a short trial. I'm gonna be real here. What? Well, wait, is she? Wait, is she the actual wait. killer? I don't think so. Like, sure, she contradicted herself, but I still don't think it's her. Well, you chose not to trust her. Okay, now we can pursue voice. her lie. <laughs> <laughs> Good job! You got it right! <laughs> Brilliantly nice! Okay, just the fact that he's pointing that out is sus to me. We got it right? Does that mean Kyoko really is the killer? But something strange is going on here. There's something wrong with this whole class trial. Kyoko! Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. This time is every. Okay. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Uh, what? No. What? So she has the black end. Uh, I mean. I mean, they wouldn't execute an innocent person, right? Right? I mean, right? That's what they said before. Okay, something I need to address. I know she's literally about to die, but um, is she like 
Does she wear lipstick or not? Because like, and when she's like Mukuro Ikasaba, the 16th why, student. Why, right why is that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, just a thought that came to mind. I never thought about it. Or I mean, I, I have thought understand. about it. That's like, why I'm asking. Okay, I'm not. Which is literally about Wait. to get fucking crushed. Okay, I just had to get that out of the way. Whatever. No. No, Sakura. We need Sakura. We come on, Sakura, save her or something. Oh, Sakura's dead. After school lesson. Well, Sakura's powerful. Sakura's literally dead, Griffin. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, not even Alter Ego can step in and help at this point. They're dead too. <laughs> Be heading to finals. <laughs> Is that? Why is there sperm cells right there? What? She's learning sex ed, obviously. <laughs> the ultimate it's punishment. A it's a good thing to learn so before wrong. you die. This is so wrong. Uh, uh, no. That's so like. So, do you think we got? Do you think oh, we made the right hurt. decision? I hope they don't show anything. And that's how the class trial of Mukuro Ikusaba came to an end. I still had to wonder whether Kyoko was actually innocent or. Wait, this doesn't. This doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right. Regardless, the truth was lost forever, even for me. This just better be like the bad ending. I swear to fucking god, I will <laughs> cry if not. <laughs> Bro, I just stopped thinking about it. Is somebody getting attached? Was somebody attached to Kyoko? What? What do you mean? No, it's, it's just like, she's such a vital character in the game. <laughs> oh, it's just like killing her off. Like how, like, it just doesn't put, it doesn't make any sense that she was still someone. She's not, I'm, I'm, mean, so, I'm so confused right now. When Isaac asked that, I immediately thought, oh, is he referring to me? Because I'm so used to him just doing that sort of thing, like, with Junko, with, well, not Sayaka. I didn't care about Sayaka <laughs> too much, but. With Junko mostly. Mo mostly Junko. That was the end of Mukuro's I mean, Jeremy trial. was kind of the same way, because he liked voicing Junko. I was like, I swear if she yeah, dies. In, in the end, it would prove to be our last class trial. Um, once that case was over, there was never a single murder at Hope Speak ever again. Mm. Wait. Okay. We obtained peace in exchange for the lives of all the others. <laughs> hey, it looks like the hero's reading came true. Oh my... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's cursed. Byaki was smiling. And he's holding uh, Toku. Um, Toku just died. <laughs> what? She's not. She's. No. They're, they're yes, reproducing. Different guys. What? They're, they're just making a family. Mean, she has. I mean, she did sleep with every guy who's in her life right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck not having another girl though, like to hang out with or whatever. Cause Kyoko's dead, so. What and then Toko also just died. <laughs> well, she according, died? according to the creator, she probably just exploded or something. So what? this is like, wait, but she didn't. How she... Oh, but she cool. didn't explode. She like. Flew I don't know. Back. The, the creator literally says they didn't know what to do. They didn't know what to do with Ki with Toko at the time, but they liked writing her. So they just made weird shit happen to her all the time. And so that in this ending, she just quote unquote, ex just kind of exploded or something. Ah uh, yes, some spontaneous <laughs> combustion. This is, this is a bad ending. Like, come on, this is a bad ending. Yeah. I mean, this, yeah, Doobie this is the in, bad ending. Uh, Y'all see Hero be like looking like a dad though, you know. Peace, oh, but only for I us. I see. <laughs> don't, don't take that in another way. That was the only hope we had. Hope. Oh, I'll take it in a different hope. way. Hope? This is hope? No, this isn't right. No. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> voice is the voice line. Makoto, why are you staring off into space? Don't you have a rebuttal for Kyoko's claim? Her claim? Oh, that's okay, right, I have to. Perfect. Do I expose Kyoko's lie or not? Yeah, I told you guys after the choice we would come back to it if we got the okay. wrong one. Got it, If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? Hmm. She's not wrong. I have to think about this very carefully. What do I do? 
decide right here and now whether or not to expose Kyoko's lie. Run away! We actually uh, runs away. What if, what if we should we? <laughs> I can't hold it back anymore. I mean, what would happen? Would it be like two seconds? It would, it would, it, it, it would literally just be like, no, I can't do that. Okay, I'm gonna try real quick. No, running uh, away isn't gonna solve anything. Okay. Because it it's yeah, not gonna like, uh, give yeah. me any hearts lost or anything. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. I made my decision. I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no way she would kill someone. There has to be some secret here. Something that has to do with the mastermind's trap that Kyoko well, mentioned. Does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? I see. So you still refuse to accept it. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That it was someone else. It was me. It was me, no one. I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? You! What are you trying to imply? Well, of course, I have an alibi. From nighttime on, I was with you guys the entire time. A likely story. I couldn't possibly have killed anyone or put the key in Kyoko's room. Is, are you guys? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> y'all are just quiet. Well, someone had to put the key in there. <laughs> There's only me. one other possibility I can think of. Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. What? Oh. It had to be Makoto, right? I don't no. see any other option. No. <laughs> no. Uh. Wait a second. You've got it all wrong. Wait. Oh yeah, so then it had to have been the mastermind then. Let's think about it one more time. I was so confused. There's gotta oh, be a side to this case. I still think it's Yakya. Huh? No, he, he literally has an airtight alibi, and they can confirm this. No, I know. This. What are what are the chances that he's kind of like did the things that? Like, you all how does he come up with these things? Because he did it. Like he is the smartest person there right now. Yeah. Mm. Lucaro, who he didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead, and then we're thrown into a trial. That's a really good point, though. Not gonna lie. Kyoko even said it's a trap the mastermind set for us. So that's Although we thought that Celeste was going to come up with an extremely good murder plan, and well, up. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that was just bad in general. Like, Celeste, that was bad. But Biakia, I, I have more faith in him, I guess. <laughs> you have faith in the man that literally messed up a crime scene. I mean, yeah. I mean, the thing is, he said he wasn't going to participate yeah, in the game time. after Sakura died. No Although, I guess up. that maybe that could have we... been a lie. <laughs> that could be a lie, exactly. So we had to push back the start time. Uh, so then it's time still too short. Time. What? Okay. Because because she Everyone, was late, I did die. That's stupid. Voting time. Oh, I don't think we cut out from now. Whoa, we're going upside down there. Oh. Oh, so this is okay. This is the correct end. This is the indicator that you got the right ending. You actually end the trial. Oh. This is so short. Wait, hey, that's pretty good. Then where's the black end? Now, who will be chosen as the black end? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Hey, hold on. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna oh. be? Uh. Yeah, and even like. The the murderer always or the killer always admits it. Mik oh, Makoto what? or Kyoko. What? Uh, did we? Ki no, we didn't kill what? her. We didn't kill her. Yeah, no. What? I mean, you think I'm I, I, the you, killer? I think, I think we would know if the protagonist killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because I'm so confused right now. Sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> It's all your fault! <sighs> Everyone, you're wrong. You've got it all wrong. I didn't do it. Yes, indeed! Good job, everyone! G good job? Yep. No, they don't what? Yeah, they got it right! <laughs> No, I know that's not true. None of this makes any sense. This whole trial doesn't make any sense. Hey! It makes perfect sense! Oh, yes. 
<laughs> did I cut out? Like yeah, three times. Like, perfect sentence! <laughs> <laughs> it's the same as always! It's just like all the other class trials! In the same way! Thrills, chills, kills! It's time for your heart pounding, positively thrilling punishment! What? You can't do that! That's illegal! Wait, wait why do I? Uh, is, is she mad at us or. Kyoko! I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. What? Kyoko? Let's give it wait. everything we've got! Did she kill? What? Did she kill? Time. Wait. Well, I don't um, see. Okay, that makes that line makes it seem like she killed them. This does not make any sense. Oh. No, no, this is the, this does not make any sense. I'm, no, absolutely. What? Oh, it's oh. The, it's the same one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I guess. <laughs> I guess when we saw it for the bad ending, it was like a preview. Like, who, who are we playing after? Like, if he dies, like, who, who are we playing? I mean, I would assume it would be Kyoko. Kyoko. What? Okay, regardless okay. of this being like a death hellscape kind of thing, the music is bopping. <laughs> you always have to make it worse, don't you? I'm, what? What did I do? What did I do? I just was complimenting the game. Every time. <laughs> like, this is not the time to do that. <laughs> Yikes. Oh. What the fuck? <gasps> Wait. This was in the intro. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Yeah, I just didn't know because his hair was like in a weird position. Oh, oh he does die. Oh, oh my god. Why? <gasps> JK Stickers! What? what? You're going to save what? someone. What is this? Cheerio! <gasps> Cheerio pulled through! What? What? Cheerio be like, you fool, I have 70 alternative accounts. You, you fool, what? I have 70 alternative accounts. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wow. That's my reaction. What? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? What's this? What's going on? Um. Hey, was that? Uh, um. Uh, yeah, it had to be. This is alter ego. <laughs> Alter Ego? I'm surprised he, like, doesn't remember who that is after we've literally announced it, like, literally and everywhere. And after he killed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this some stupid virus from that stupid guy? He must have planted it when he invaded my network! Damn it all to hell! I don't believe it! It would seem... It seems you finally made a miscalculation. No, you miscalculated from the very beginning. What the heck? What was that? In other words. What I'm saying is, you shouldn't have underestimated us. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you talking like you've already won? Yeah, I'm. I barely felt the thing! It was a pinch! An itch! The stupid virus is gone now, got it? And so is Makoto! Uh. Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, but you're never going to see him again! Yeah! Where is the, the garbage stewing pit in a way that. that's. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> in a way that's the best special punishment! Zervio, are you okay? Do you need a moment? <laughs> I, I, it's, it's the usual me, not knowing words. 
Mm. <laughs> but it's still not enough. I'm satisfied. I'm still going to bring despair to the rest of you. Bring despair to the rest of to the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, why don't they just hire you for the actual voice acting role? <laughs> <laughs> they don't want the voice um, to cut out partway through every time. <laughs> okay, I'll <laughs> Is he gone? <laughs> Hey, Kyoko, what's the meaning of this? Just what the hell is going on? Calm down. It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped this time. Huh? huh? In other words... Now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. What? What did you say? What are you talking about? So... You'll understand soon enough. Very soon indeed. Uh. Okay. <laughs> how, how? Yeah. <laughs> we almost died. Game. Oh, wait. wait how, how far did he drop? Where is he right now? I don't know. Uh. That's that's so funny. It was just like, <laughs> just mur murder trial. Everything now. <laughs> happy go lucky music. And it's back at it's the start of the game oh. again. Yay. Yeah, the massive Wait, high man. school towers. Oh, overall, it's just right. It's just repeating. It's just repeating all this. Don't worry. Area. It's just repeating all this. It's like the school just stands at the center of the entire for the sake world. Of it. Mm. Wait, this is a bad ending. We have to restart the whole game. No, <laughs> <laughs> bro, that would suck. Hope Speak Academy it brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of a privilege. They say if you come here and manage to graduate, that you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. Can we skip this or is it gonna like... It, it was built it's to gonna be pretty it much the same. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future. I'll just like read in a really fast voice. Which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to be already attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could have enrolled here. The only way is if you're scaled by the school itself. And saying they're at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. This is so funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> me talking fast. My rap career yeah. is starting. I'm the ultimate rapper. Yeah. I'm, t I'm, t I'm dethroning the doof. Well, it's uh, not exactly the beginning. Mm -hmm. But what? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of the hardwood desk. My body felt heavy. It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk off in the middle of some boarding class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? It wasn't any classroom I'd ever been in before. What the heck is going on? It was all a lie. That class oh. never even happen. Wait. No. Hey, look, it's the rocket from the start of the game. Oh. Finally. Oh. I could feel my mind and body start to come back together again, and then I was awake. Or was this just another dream? Um, be a pretty weird dream as far as dreams go. A dream <laughs> inside a hopeless not nightmare. The, not the weirdest dream that anybody in this group has had. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not gonna say it. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting into that. N no, this isn't a dream. I could tell because this stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. It wasn't a vast, dark cavern with the barest tint of light seeping it. Well, we can see perfectly in here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Trash was piled high all across the area. Don't go over the fourth wall, Griffin. What? Don't go over the fourth wall, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Makoto's just like, hello? Is there someone there? <laughs> Why, do I hear an, Why do I hear an Ecuadorian? <laughs> 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 this must be some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in. 
that was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in there till I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. Not after what my good friend went through to save me. I remember all too well what happened. Alter Ego saved me. And used up the last little bit of his strength Delay. to do it. Can I say that that was the biggest plot twist I've ever seen in my life? Like, just well, Alter Ego could around and be like, Oh, hey, I'm not dead. Hey, y'all, what's up? I'm not really dead. <laughs> I mean... Now, I'm like, gonna save you and not Kyoko because fuck <laughs> women, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, what was it? Also, what, my what monitor's like? falling over. Give me a minute. Oh. Right. Well, there anyways, we go. Um, and he used up the last little bit of strength to do it, so that means he probably is dead now. No. Big F. I guess we'll, ne we'll never see Alter Ego again. When Akuma said that he was, like, out forever, so. Yeah. So I can't give up now, for myself, and for my friend. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. First up was to start looking for a way out of there. Uh, the door. Well, there's a giant ass door. I wonder. Rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. No matter how many times rattle, I pushed or, pull or kicked at it, it didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't gonna be that easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon, I decided to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. But that was pointless, too. Next, I searched for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are all around are an all around bad idea? I was just not doing it. Again, <laughs> pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in on all sides. But it's still not enough reason to give up because. because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. After making I'm sorry, that... how long was this drop? How is he not dead? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he landed on like garbage or whatever. Maybe he landed on like a mattress. Look at what's around! There's scraps of metal. I mean, he is the ultimate lucky student. True. Uh, whatever. Let's just keep going. I'm embarrassed. After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was. Ooh. Oh, go to sleep. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> just, I thought he was just gonna say die. <laughs> I'll just die. Bye. Peace out, bitches. Guess I'll die. <laughs> like, I'm just go to sleep. <laughs> my sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed. And all I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign exactly. It was an anvil. <laughs> right on my head. <laughs> well, he did. Oh. What the? The strange sound pierced, <laughs> pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. Like a Minecraft zombie right there. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> As I watched the pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down over there? Something fell up fell from up above. What could it have been? Yeah. It's Monokuma! He's come to check on me. <laughs> Monokuma just comes and kills us. <laughs> I've come to finish the job. I think the idea is just like make sure that there's too much trash so that you can just like get up to where he yeah. is. Like, it would take a long time though. Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched my hand out toward whatever it was that had tumbled down here with me. Just a second. <gasps> a giant piece of trash? Rude. Uh, what? Before she even emerged <laughs> from the pile of garbage, I knew it was. It smells awful. <laughs> And thus, it was born that she is Noodle Detective. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Th yeah. This place smells awful. <laughs> so is your hair. Kikyoko. Indeed. <laughs> you look like you're doing better than I expected. Also, this is a good look for her. Like, like minus like the noodle, <laughs> like, if you just like, put on like a mini top hat on her, she, she'd be looking pretty dapper, you know? I mean, most that applies to most characters. What are you doing here? <laughs> so, 
Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um, you got a bit of garbage in here. Uh <laughs> <laughs> that face though. She gave her head a quick sharp shake to get rid of the trash and face me again. Hey. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Hmm. Those look pretty good. <laughs> Exclamation point. Th thank you. Exclamation point. I snatched the bread. <laughs> shush, shush. Exclamation point. I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making its way toward my stomach. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't know, me trying to imitate eating, I guess. Ooh, that really hit the spot. Now I've got all the energy I need to keep going. <laughs> so you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is about all I'm good at. Well, that's not such a bad idea to be good at, or... That's not such a bad thing to be good at. I guess. See guys, it's oh. not only me. Stop, stop really cool, uh, ridiculing me of being bad at English. Well, oh my goodness. Oh. Whoa. That's actually pretty nice. Whoa, that's, 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 that's kind of trippy. That's kind of trippy. I've never looked up there before. <laughs> that's really trippy. Yeah, that's Bro, imagine if Makoto actually fell down here and he got impaled on the spikes and then just the credits. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah, you've ended up just like Junko did. Impaled on spikes. Okay, keep going. Please. At least Griffin can be with his girlfriend together. Oh, Died no. Died in the same no. way. Yeah. Oh, that's morbid, <laughs> that's morbid. Okay, we're checking Griffin, the trash. Let's just go, Jesus. There's an unbelievable amount of trash here. Okay, cool. I didn't know Toko found out, fell down here. <laughs> <laughs> but, Kyoko. Why'd you have to come rescue me? So... To pay a debt, or no, to atone. Atone? You. During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So, you knew that I knew. Indeed. Well, she told us. <laughs> <laughs> but even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. I... I abandoned you. Don't say that! You didn't abandon me. No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. Oh, so, so she could have literally, like, had it not been for Alter Ego, we would have just, she would have literally just been like, alright, he's gonna get crushed. Does that mean that she worked about him? Hmm, no. I don't think so. We'll find out in, in chapter 6. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However... But listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason that I had to survive, no matter the cost. Why did you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to survive... Is because is I am like the ultimate waifu. It's because I am the goals. ultimate plot armor. <laughs> it's so that I can do what I came to this school to do. What? I made up my mind to come to Hope Speak Academy for one very important reason. Mm. So you have some reason for coming to Hope's Peak. Indeed. That's right. At least I did. Once. Once? I Until recently. I've forgotten what it was. You forgot? But that's... I had no memory of what my purpose was. No memory? That's impossible. Amnesia? Hmm. Then, is it really true? You lost your memory? Makoto. Do you remember, Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at this school? Uh, we had a weird LSD trip. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing? You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted and when I woke up, I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of 
Separation within myself. A disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point, my memory was gone. At the time, I had forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to this school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. Well, I'm gonna uh, ask, what is the time now? Just what? Be sure. What the time what, is? Like, uh, yeah. We're 38 minutes in. Okay, okay good. We have time. Uh, my time is going so fast, apparently. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no worries, no worries, because we'll we'll get to yeah. the point. We'll get to the stopping point in a good, in a good amount of time. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. So she lost her memory somehow. Does that mean, um, everyone else might have? Just, well, just no. a theory I'm throwing out. No, that's been your theory ever since chapter three. Yeah. I mean, that's just more it, evidence. Yeah, it's already debunked because, like, everyone else knows like, no, who they are. Stuff about uh, Pokemon inside jail. Like okay. Hmm. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because of this stuff? I don't think. I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. And uploaded it to their PC. <laughs> <laughs> their PC just needed. They just ran out of storage on their PC. <laughs> just like I am with them. all these episodes. <laughs> <laughs> but why would they want me? To do, why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with. Because of my purpose and my ability, somehow they would interfere with the mastermind's plans. So the mastermind just stole them from you? However... And it could also mean... Somehow, my memories may be connected to the mystery of this school and the mastermind. Ooh. Which is why I have to get them back. Where's the USB stick? Uh, in her <laughs> neck or in her... Oh, um, not safe for work. Oof. <laughs> okay then, okay, okay. <laughs> That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Well, because we're all on a murder mission to kill each other, so... <laughs> because they're, and, and because they're so incapable of doing anything. Yes, to be around. <laughs> Even like the most <laughs> intelligent person there, Byakuya is literally like the biggest asshole of them all. <laughs> I, mean, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trust Byakuya though. Like, I, yeah. I would understand why she. Well, yeah, those are not after the shit he pulled in chapter two. Yeah, yeah literally. Exactly. The only person. just pers fucked with the crime scene just for the sake of it, it basically. Yeah, so like the only person who's like smart enough and like most best person is Sakura, and she's the traitor. <laughs> she died, and she was the traitor, and she's dead, more importantly. Well, yeah, well, at the beginning. It's implying. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? If I did that, and we all worked as one, the mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus. Mm. There's always a chance that the mastermind is actually one of us. What? Correct. There's always the chance that there is one imposter among us. <laughs> Well, don't make too big a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? Mastermind, one of us. If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. However... That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself. Which is why I asked you to help me. But, why me? <laughs> because you're an idiot. Because among everyone, you were the least likely to be the mastermind. That was just intuition, but... <laughs> just I mean, he's, she's kind of saying that. It's because, it's, it's because, Makoto, I have a confession to make. Oh, you're stupid. <laughs> stupid, 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 stupid! I, I see. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could have been that mastermind. Way to sound I not suspicious, Makoto. Understand. <laughs> oh. I should. 
understand. How much of a big, like, biggest plot twist ever if Makoto actually was, like, the mastermind? I doubt it. I mean, it would be kind of like a cool twist, but I doubt yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, the uh, I mean the only twist that could really like even come close to that would be even if like he had been the person who killed Mukuro, mm. because like the protagonist killing someone and dying would be a huge twist. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like the dream I had before, but why did that just happen? I had a flashback. Listen. Are you okay? Uh, oh yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> It is nothing been... right now. Okay, you were literally pulling the same thing that happened with Soccer when you were like, Oh, I'm not gonna tell her. You, She literally you came down here to her. save you. Literally tell her everything. This is... Okay. Even now, I still trust you, you know? Exactly, Makoto. It's just, I'm not used to relying on others. I mean... If she is like a detective, is that how it would work? Like, cause, de well, detectives sometimes have partners, right? What do you mean, yeah, detective? Do. Well, I'm just- Oh, iffy. wait, oh, cause that's been your theory. Uh, nothing. I've been theory for a while. Um, but, well, your theory's been that she's a cop. Well, it could it could be a cop detective, but a cop whatever. Detective, not really that different. Well, it, it would I make guess. more sense if she was a detective than a cop, because like if she like if she was a cop, then she wouldn't have as much like coverage with like dead bodies. While detectives, they're more investigative, and she's extremely investigative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, some detectives have partners. I don't know. Let's proceed. Correct. I know. I never asked you for help. I know I never asked you for help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that's... I think that's just her personality. Oh, more lines of dialogue. Doctor, again! You said you had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own. So how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember. But at the very least... I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. You mentioned your ability. I... My ability. <gasps> what everyone should have known oh, me for. Is my theory? My theory? <gasps> I'm the yeah. ultimate detective. I accidentally let it slip and I'm, when she had the fucking noodles on her head. <laughs> I accidentally let it slip. I'm so mad at myself. I mean, you. I was kind of. I didn't really take it as anything because, oh, me, big stupid, you know. Because you already thought you. Oh well, yeah. Because first of all, you're stupid. I thought and you were just playing. You were already thinking that anyway, so you didn't think anything, anything of it. I thought you were just like playing it off, like, oh, how he calls her detective, whatever. But instead, it was like. I mean, it, it made sense anyway. Like, it, it wasn't through for a long while, but like, look yeah. at her. I mean, it's, her. I mean, yeah. She's her talent is not necessarily a very hard mystery to find out. Which is quite ironic. Yeah. Oh well, okay. The ultimate detective? Oh, is he seriously gonna be like, I never saw this coming. I never <laughs> would've seen this coming. <laughs> and the reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy? There was someone I had to find here in this school. You had to find someone? Who? So... Well... It was the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. A man in his late thirties. <laughs> Lying I... hidden somewhere in this school. <laughs> the headmaster? Why did you want me to find the headmaster? Or why did you want to find the headmaster? Why did you... <gasps> because he's my father. Oh! Whoa! That... Well... <laughs> uh... <laughs> if she... She is a kind of her wife, and I'd be like, hello, sir, uh, hello, um, <laughs> awkward introductions, you know? What? In other words... I was separated from his, him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Mm. Kyoko's dad. Is Hope's Peak head Peak's headmaster? I mean, we were talking about, like, Sayaka having daddy issues. Um, I think she has some daddy issues, too, mm. though, probably. Yeah, wrong person. Sayaka? No. Kirigiri? Mm-hmm. Well, no, 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 because Sayaka said, like, um, her mom died, and then, like, her dad kind of wasn't around, whatever. 
I don't know. Yeah, but stop making my joke look not so good. Well, <laughs> whatever. You make my joke suck. Well, so. everything we do makes Griffin look not so good, so I guess he has the right. Yes. Whatever. But that explains. When Alter Ego told us how we thought the Headmaster was involved. I... I'll find a way. Huh? huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the Headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, um... Kyoko, what's going on? I... My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when he said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose coming here was to find him. That makes sense. However... But listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear, so there's no misunderstanding. I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen, and when I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then, what did you see in there? So... The room had been ransacked. The shelves were a mess. The desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that somebody who didn't know where anything was had been mm. in there. You mean, the mastermind, right? It's true. That was my assumption, yes. And to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I'd found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. This is some kind of map? Indeed. It's a layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. Oh. I found it in the headmaster's room, along with Mukuro's profile and that key. The map showed that the second floor was a home to a number of rooms meant for faculty use. Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time. Hmm. And I figured the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. I assumed that if that were true, the room would likely hold more clues, so I went to check. Correct. And that's when I finally remembered. Oh fuck. But I wanted to yawn. <laughs> I remembered that my purpose was to come find the owner of that room. So you went so you went there to see if the mastermind really did have a private room there. However. But once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. Mm -hmm. So what was it like? The part of the school, I mean. It's hard to describe. All I can say is... I... The moment I saw it, I realized... Whatever's going on in this school is more horrific than we ever imagined. yikes a -roos. What do you mean? So... I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself. And I'm sure you'll get the chance soon enough. It sounds like it must be important and really ominous. We're talking no, wait, to her really? again. Everything is weird. This is like the third time we're talking to her. Okay. Which is why, oh. Which is why I had no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. It has to do with Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying somewhere hidden underneath the school. The one they called the ultimate. No, you got it wrong. No, what? stop. You got it wrong. <laughs> Whatever, fine. Doesn't it? However. Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. Okay, so she wasn't the blackened. And I know it wasn't you, either. Aw, thank you. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then who did kill anyway. her? Anyway... What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mukuro Ikusaba the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school, the one they call the ultimate despair, watch out for her, was to get me killed. Okay, curb your perfect memory, okay? <laughs> get you killed? Indeed. I stole that key and disappeared, and, and in retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. 
That was the point of the class trial. It was? The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean, because of the school regulations? That's right. Exactly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. In other words... The mastermind is adamant about following the rules, and with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules? That makes it sound like the mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. Hey. There's one yeah. other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th. Oh. No. We're... <laughs> okay, we're, we're, we're getting enough. Okay. What's that? There was a point where Mukuro may not have become the victim. Oh? It could have been you, Makoto. Oh. Well, I mean, we were kind of like point. attacked or something. It was something very boring. Happened. I could have become the victim. Indeed. You know what I'm, I'm talking about, right? Do you mean... During the night? I... I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the God of Death. Oh, uh, okay then. God of Death? What? I can hear the god of death as he moves. Okay! <laughs> that ability naturally draws me into cases, just like this. I can't even tell if she's like making a metaphor or something, what? Anyway. <laughs> Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms, and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell. Wait, does that technically mean that like, what if this is all like, happening like in Makoto's imagination he's actually dead because she says like she like the god of death draws near but that would mean that Makoto would have been already dead well, the god of death would have been going to kill Makoto yeah it's something like that. just food for thought food for thought it's like one of those like things like oh the protagonist now you're going into dead. derby theory territory uh, yeah sort of yeah. kind of sort of he's rubbing off on I me guess. You're welcome. And I saw a white shadow across the co across the corridor. What shadow? Uh, that's that's uh, that. The code? That's um. That's an oxymoron. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I gave chase right away. As I followed it, I saw I, I saw the shadow go into your room. I saw. Correct. I ran into your room, and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However... That wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but that led to... Bro, Kyoko, okay, here's what Kyoko is best over Sayaka. Sayaka, she had to get like a weapon or something to defend herself. And even then, she still got killed, even though she was the the like the one trying to attack someone. Kyoko, she defended us. She only even got a weapon, well, that we know of. She just like okay, girl, I'm going to politely tell you to shut the fuck up. Because wait, wait, no, I got the wrong person. I thought you were saying Sakura. No, I was about to defend Sakura, and you, uh, you said Sayaka. It's okay. I'm, I'm yeah, no, 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 oh no, Sakura. I, I Sakura is another Sakura tier. Is Sakura, Sakura is in our tier above Kyoko. I'm just saying Kyoko miles ahead of Sayaka. Sorry for all you no, Sayaka. Agree so with I call Sayaka's like, I don't know, like, 10 fans. <laughs> that, like, really, really like her. I mean, we're gonna get hate. I'm hate large. Sayaka is like... not a very popular character in the fans. I mean, we're still gonna get. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna get hate because we just totally roasted uh, like a shit. I guess it. that's true. Okay. I mean, that ship's canon in my Tomodachi life, so. <laughs> okay. Oh. Whoever the masked assailant was, they ended up dead. Correct. And their murder was disguised, and the dojo key wound up in my room. It all has to be the work of the mastermind, 
in an attempt to use the oh. class trial to eliminate me. So all this would mean that, that whoever Biakia. killed Mukro is also the mastermind, right? What? That means Biakia, because he had the key. I mean... Did he? I mean, also, who yeah, knows how much power the mastermind has over the school. Yeah, it's just... I don't, it's just like, because like we can basically like eliminate him though because of like Yasuhiro. Because Yasuhiro and him were both there. They're both yeah, okay, like... but like, you don't trust Yasuhiro in the first place because he's a dumb dumb. <laughs> you just don't trust stupid people. I mean, Makoto is pretty stupid, so. Multiple times I've played now. I am allergic to stupid people. Okay, yeah, but I think the difference between Makoto and Yasuhiro is this Makoto... is the true reason why Jervie and Griffin could never meet up in in real life. <laughs> okay, well the thing is, yeah, yeah, the difference between Makoto and Yasuhiro is Makoto is dense, while Yasuhiro is played off for like com comedy, kind of stupid, like com. com <laughs> Comedically, like kind he's of dumb. so stupid that it's supposed to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yeah. Indeed. We've gone on so many tangents. I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. Wait, did I just skip? Oh, okay. No, no. I said that. I thought, because I heard it like a double click kind of sound, so. But that's really bad if true. It means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait. But doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. You're right. That is a contradiction. And it's not just Mukuro. They need the class trial to kill me, but seems ready to kill you in your room. Mm hmm. Everything they did is a contradiction. So, what does it all mean? In other words, it means the mastermind is the one who's been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little bit more. A little more, and I should be able to find out the mastermind's identity. Hmm. Oop. The identity of the other ultimate despair. It's her theme again. Watch out for her. <laughs> the other for ultimate him. despair? What? There's no doubt that Mukuro was the ultimate despair, and that she's dead. Huh. Unless Griffin's theory is true, but yeah. I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. My one of many theories. It's not. <laughs> Indeed. If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking about. That's right. What happened a year ago? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That we still don't know about. The tragedy. Whoever's responsible for that. They're the ultimate despair. It would seem... the de that despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then there. Indeed. Make no mistake. They're the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. Mm. The true antagonist. That is the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. And that is our real <laughs> enemy. <Ooh. gasps> Whoa, that was a long one. <laughs> ah. oh. oh, yeah, who will you lose? No one. Hmm. No one. Oh, yeah, because it was like, it went one up last time because of like Mukuro, then it didn't. Yeah. You received oh. the Dream Island Rocket present. Oh, yay. Oh, okay. Yay, I gotta keep the thing I found in like the trash. The ultimate despair. What? What's your question? The ultimate despair. A group of people who caused the tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. Right now. Anyway. Right now, we have to get out of this horrible place. And for that to happen, we have to talk to you again. <laughs> <laughs> Figuring out the rest of the story can come later. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Caught it. Oh, Kyoko, you still have that one thing? That one very specific thing? <laughs> Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Indeed. Of course I do. It's an absolutely vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. 
I would never part with it. It can open any door in the school, right? That's right. Hmm. Then we oh, should be mm -hmm. able to use it on that door, right? Oh, uh, no! Impossible. No. Hey, Kiyoko, we can use that uh, key of yours to open this door, right? It's true. We even reached that. Let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma design on it and slid it into the keyhole. And then... Pick. Yes! It opened! Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Finally. We were finally free. There wasn't even time to take a breath of relief. Because the real fight had just begun. Ooh. Oh, epic. <laughs> she, it kind of looks like she's like laying on her arm. Hmm. Her arm. On our arm. Her arm. Makoto's a girl? Nani? What? Oh. <laughs> it's the reverse. Oh my God, it's, like... <laughs> it's the reverse of what happened with Chihiro. <laughs> Chirio. Chirio. Less. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel, extending straight up like a chimney. Going up! <laughs> there was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, tent on reaching the surface. Uh, uh, not an upskirt shot. Why can't she be like further down in the art and Makoto, like, you know, why can't they just be- At least she's not climbing above Makoto. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can make a joke about that bun. <laughs> well, it was, was impossibly looking, long. I was looking somewhere else and then I looked back and like, okay, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I was just... The ladder was impossibly long, I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were so far down. Hey. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. I would never be able to do this. I have a very bad fear of heights. No, but like the, yeah. way, the way be they careful. are like holding the bars, it's kind of annoying me. Oh. Yeah, they're holding it on the front. They, you they should, should not do be it on the back because it's safer. Yeah. But it's okay. They can they can survive this drop like they did with the garbage chute or whatever. Yeah, just, they just take <laughs> a mattress and put it at the very bottom. Just be like, all right, we're all right, fine. That's fine. Um, I was gonna say something. What else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, they don't want to just be like, if you love me, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> but now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off it. I'm so Kyoko. There's something I wanted to ask you. You said you're the ultimate Are detective, you gay? right? <laughs> <laughs> it's coming full circle. <laughs> Joke from the very start is coming full circle now. Yes. So how long have, so you said you're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How long? So ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Hmm. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So... Right. Because we take pride in it. Uh, that... That's a contradiction. If you take pride in it, then you'd be like, "Yeah, I'm the I'm the ultimate detective. I've, I've solved every case in existence." You know, pride. Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can undercover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of all old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family's creed, and we do what we must to protect it. 
Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains. Before I came here, when was looking for up info. When was looking up info about the uh, school online. I never yay. saw anything about her. <laughs> Thank you, English translators. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However... And yet... I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride, the reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak, it was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Hmm. Reconnect? I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? B but you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You have had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However... There is something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? The last time I saw him, I was still very young. I so I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented, he had a promising future. However... But he had no interest in detective work. So he cut himself off from the family. The... Not long after that, my mother died, and he simply ran away. Not even taking but... Kiriko? <laughs> say, though, deep dive into my uh, world. This is what happened to me. Like, my dad literally, like, left me and my sister and my mom, and, like... I mean, your mom didn't die, though, so... I know, but, like, still, It's like, not the same situation, but it's similar. Yeah. Not the same situation, but, like, it's very similar to where, like, my dad basically, like, left me. Like, yeah. he, he still never came back from the store to buy that damn milk, you know? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm making a joke out of it, but it, it is a serious matter. Yeah. I understand her, like... I'm, yeah, that. yeah, like I know, like we definitely joke about this in here, but like it's still I'm glad we can have like a serious topic, even with like, well, it's not exactly the most lighthearted of games, but it's still like it has the, the moments where it's like all happy, like go lucky, everything, and then it's like mm -hmm. moments where it's like okay, we're like everyone's down. dead, yay, <laughs> let's have a party, <laughs> let's do yoga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but let's see. He went to my grandfather, and they had a huge argument. As young as I was, he left me behind. Yeah, that I can respect. Like, I could somewhat understand where he was like, okay, I want to take a different passion, and then, like, at least take Kyoko. But, like, mm -hmm. if he just left him, that isn't a good, like, that's not how you want to do it as a father. Like, even if, like, you have, like, all, the, like, the problems with, like, your dad or whatever, still, like, at least try to figure out some solution rather than just completely leaving your daughter behind who's probably also dealing with a lot of grief from her mother as well like no but again it, let me explain myself like it, especially when it comes to this situation my dad left me seven years later he came back and i've like spent time for two years with him and then i left and after that i've realized this motherfucker literally left me like, he literally left me. Like, right now, I don't want to talk to him. Like, not only that, no, no. Let me go into fucking deeper dive right now. Like, my dad does not acknowledge my existence, and he never tells his friends about me. Or his relationships. No one knows about me on his side. Like, it's such an asshole thing to do. And she basically feels the same way, because he left her. And I don't know, as a as a school um, headmaster, like uh, not a uh, principal, um, like if he he's probably not going to tell. Oh, I have a daughter. Like, it hurts. It hurts so much that like you want to never talk to your father again, and it just makes them huge assholes. So like, it's stupid. It's dumb. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that voice is dead. <laughs> Hold on. I'll give you a few. I I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I mean... Okay. Um, I... I'm kind of like... Uh, now I'm kind of like against like... Her saying that entirely. Like, definitely like he should have taken, um... Her with him. But like, for her to be like, all like... Oh, he should have continued the line. Like, if it... If you don't like what you do, then don't do it. Just go with what you want. Like, if he wanted to be a school headmaster, I have no idea why you would want to be. That sounds like a... <laughs> Leaving, leaving your literal blood, though. Leaving your blood. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. he know, created this girl. Yeah. Like, even if he had, like, an argument with his dad, he still, he still could have found a way to resolve it and everything. And he could have, like, still, like, maybe, like... <laughs> now I'm thinking of, like, a spinoff where it's just, like... Uh, he like trains Kyoko or something. I don't know. Like, uh, while still a headmaster or something. Kyoko does have like an entire light novel about like her life growing up. So that's good. That's good. I take pride in my family name. Mm -hmm. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him. I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. I wasn't also able to see her up <laughs> <laughs> So I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that, compared to her usual self, she was more talkative and more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know? He had his own life to live. That's that's cute that Makoto said that because like that means Kyoko is opening up to him at least. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. However. But there is one thing. One thing that I can never forgive. Really? So the way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However... But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl who was abandoned by her father. Yeah, that's probably a hard, like, kind of image to change in their minds, so... That's how they see me, even to this day. I... His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I mean, at least it wasn't a white shadow. Um, I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. Correct. That's why I have to find him and tell him we are no longer family. In order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. Amen. Preach, girl. Preach. I have no doubt he forgot about me. He forgot about me years ago. But... Your family to just come out like that. Wrong. Our only connection is through blood. Nothing more. I mean, the thing about Makoto is he's kind of similar to me. I mean, at least I have like knowledge of how some people what some people have gone through. But I think Makoto's like kind of worse in like the situation where he doesn't really he can't really comprehend as well like people like Kyoko like because his. His, like, um, house life or whatever, where it's, like, he has his two loving parents and whatever, and his sister. So, like, like, that's all good and all. But, like, if you can't really connect with anyone, like, you need to find someone at least who, like, a, a, like a person in your life who's, like, gone through struggle. So you can at least have some, like, you can gain empathy for them, usually. Mm -hmm. So. Well, that, that, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Are we connected through heart and soul? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear say something like that. I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. After I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. 
<laughs> well, I did ask her one question though. Uh, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Just like trying to make small Mortal. talk. Yeah, trying to make small talk of after like a really deep conversation. Looks like this is it. Indeed. On the other side of this door, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're back. That's right. Remember the hatch on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. If you I unlocked it earlier, I... so it should. Uh, shut up. I unlocked it earlier, so it should open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reached my right hand up and pushed against the hatch. The hatch opened with ease, and so. Ooh. Looks like we're back. I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. <laughs> can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. I never would have gone out there without you. No thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. We'll still accept my thank you. <sighs> Um, can I close this so no one falls into it? This is how we got out the garbage bag. I never imagined that's where this led. I mean, it's the incinerator room. What did you think it led yeah. to? Do you think it just led to like, oh, it's like, oh, this is where I keep my snacks. <laughs> my weed brownies. <laughs> so, now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the mastermind finds out. I'm worried about you, too. He helped me, so they might... Listen. You're worried? Yeah, of course. So then... Then let's just get a concrete answer. Huh? In other words... Let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. W w wait that's... However... If we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out. And it's not like we can run away. I mean... If he did kind of break the rules, then yeah, I, I could understand. But I don't know, it's still kind of his game. Like, who knows. When she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So you're, so you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry. What you think is going to happen isn't. Because... Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. I have to use this line on you right now because I used it on the others earlier and you didn't hear it. <laughs> the mastermind oh. is ensnared. You said something like that before. <gasps> Wait. What you just said about her using it before, but what? Uh, well, this is well. Wait, she, well, because she said it. Well, is Makoto it psychic then? Holy cow! Well, she said the mastermind was trapped while they were down there, yeah. or the mastermind was cornered. Mm, it's it just she been. specifically used that like exact line with the other people. That that'd be funny. That'd be funny. Was it mean? So. The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Mukuro's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was. Right. If we can talk to Mo Monokuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. I'm still a little, no, super uneasy about this. But <laughs> we don't really have a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? How does she know? Let's get going. I mean, he normally is, but yeah, that's a good point. Because, yeah, actually, come to think about where else would he really be? Like, he wouldn't be just chilling in the hot tub or whatever, or, like the sauna. But then again, there's no camera, so. <laughs> yeah. I could probably just teleport or whatever. We're literally almost there. Yep. Oh, is it this room? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well now, well now, well now, well now. Hey, 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 hey! Kyoko! 
No mind so much. I don't oh my god, it's supposed to be dead! What is he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? You were supposed to be punished! Did Dickio go help you? What? So what if I did? What will you do? Shing! If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but it is the rule. Making me angry! I'll punish you again! And this time, I won't leave anything to chance! Kikyoko. Do whatever you feel you have to do. That's reassuring. What? However. But before you do, let me just say one thing. Ooh, ooh, okay, what do you got? What do you got? If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Ooh. Huh? Huh? Uh, loot? Hey! You! Explain yourself! What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set, this, you set up this la latest class trial by yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you want an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as the Black End and then executed, right? But when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. Hmm. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. Oh my goodness, the power of friendship came through. <laughs> <laughs> because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. You reacted by proclaiming Makoto the Blacken and trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation. No, more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. However... <sighs> but then, there was another unexpected development waiting for you. Whoa. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Alter ego. Alter. <laughs> I was I was so used to Kyoko monologuing. You never imagined <laughs> the possibility of a being that c could come to our aim even after you'd killed it. Am I wrong? Now, here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Mukuro. You did. Listen to me. So executing Makoto for it surely would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the Blackened is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Hmm. And that means I lost? You talk my game. You're singing the black in the singing, not Makoto. Well? And you can prove this, right? Well. No, I can't. <laughs> Don't just say it like that. <laughs> what is this? A comedy routine? Do you make such bold claims without a sh uh, shred of evidence? <laughs> that doesn't matter. I don't have any right now. But with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. And now you're trying to talk like some kind of fair detective type. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, um... Because... <laughs> if Makoto really was the killer, he never would have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. I mean, he did, but I told him not to. He would have been gripped by the despair you love so much to inspire. However... But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck? And that's supposed to be enough to convince me, uh, any evidence? Uh, wait, any absence yeah. of evidence? 
<laughs> the evidence of absence. <laughs> it's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were a if you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely Ooh. displeased. Hi YouTube. <laughs> huh? Just smart. Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. <laughs> Ratings would drop. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. <laughs> of course, you can say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you don't have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. If you want to earn our despair fair and square, that's what we have to do. Then I suggest you take my advice. Oh. Oh, what's the evidence of yours? Advice, not evidence. Fuck. What is this advice of yours? It's true. To do Mukuro's trial over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final one... battle between hope <laughs> and despair. Hey. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial. One last showdown. In other words, this will be our chance to expose the true identity of Mukuro's killer, of the Mastermind themselves. But, what reason would the Mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. Shoot. <laughs> Interesting. Bear it! Barry! Interesting indeed! Barry? What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. So, talk about jokes! Now, now, what you suggested might be plausible, it would certainly make for one of the, a honey of a climax! In other words... Does that mean you accept? You guys! If we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers right! And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I'm prepared to agree to your turn. <laughs> will your hope win out, or will you despair claim victory? Can barely contain myself! Let's have one final grizzly showdown! He agreed. Then we still have a shot at this. Bear it! But this is the long awaited climax, right? Just guess the killer is barely a fitting end. You guys! So, for this final face off, you don't have to unearth. Uh, All the right mysteries. <laughs> that's right. Every last mystery that's part cool. You can do that. I can barely contain myself. That don't be enough to cool this victory for you. It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. <laughs> okay, well, good. Then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Mukuru and solve the mysteries of the school, you guys, then you win. <laughs> but if you, you can't do all of that, We'll all face execution, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement! When 
on your word, the whole truth? What kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. I mean, at least me, I'm glad I'm not dead. <laughs> <Listen>. <laughs> when we've uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this has all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that, for sure. So what? Hey. I just want to confirm, that is what you said, right? And it's a true statement? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations. And having a trial for Mukuro is no exception to that. Huh? Mukuro's trial is no exception? Then, it's part of the regulations? Shaka mean that whoever killed Mukuro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very polarizing approach, I know. But, okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure about you, uh, I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 60 participants, all of them being high school students. And the only way to take a single step and hope big since the killing game began, I did not have enough fun right there. What is wrong with me? Where are those 16 students? I mean, does killing Bear Monokuma count? Because even if someone no. is like, well, let's do it. No. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why'd you go quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> now I'm really I'm not angry. talking like I'm nothing left to say to you! So get lost, would ya? Why so mad? <sighs> he seems emotionally unstable. Hey! Leave him alone! Get out of here! Okay, I'm going, I just. You're really gonna let me go? I don't care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to get... I need to start getting ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair! <laughs> hey. Come on, Makoto. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Makuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away, and just like that, we were out of the gym. All right, and with that, I think this is a good place to end off. Next time on Rampa, we will see, well, we will begin to try to uncover the truth of the death of Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th And student. try to find all, um, yes. And try to find all the secrets within the school. Woo. As always, remember to leave a comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Don't forget to do that. So that you can keep see our you can keep seeing our uploads weekly, at least with yes. this probably. I don't know when this up what this upload schedule is gonna be it's yet. Gonna be but probably bi weekly. At least weekly. <laughs> um, and with that, we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.